All right, you got one job. Don't be weird again. Go on a party, I'll be at my house. I'm a quarantine queen. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, I got merch on shop.iamallyfits.com. And if you decide to get you some merch for the new year, new year, new you, looking cute, make sure you send me pictures so I can give you a shout out on the merch page and also give you a shout out right here, right now. Just like my girl Emmy, look at her, killing it, straight queen. We love to see it. And now you know how to get your own special shout out too so i'ma say less but now that that self promo is out of the way it's time to get into love island because it's been like how many weeks two i don't know we we behind so let me jump into it welcome back to love island previously our castle of more babes got to know the new boys a little better dog and fashion classic and arjun tried his luck at turning lexi's head but failed yeah because he's weird ditch carl and be with me instead no, no, <laughs> that's hilarious. Coming up, Lottie has a funny turn. What? I couldn't sleep last night and Hope gets sent a little video to cheer her up. What, from who? Spoiler, it's something they'll all love. Oh, is it from the other house? I need to see it again. I don't think we need to do that, babe. We don't need to, but I want to. I wonder what they are talking about because I want to see it too. It's the morning after the night before. Let's see how Lexi's coping. As your eyes open, you begin to feel a thumping inside your head. Oh, my head. It was so noisy last night, or last night got out of hand, or everyone else better be feeling this too. I'm not gonna be the only one who feels this rough. Why are the best nights followed by the worst mornings? You look around the room, thick snores echo throughout it. Everyone's sleeping so heavily. Why do I always wake up first? You look over at Carl, who's sleeping just as heavily as the rest of them. I wonder what he's dreaming about, or I can't wait to be out of here, or how do you even get so hot? I wonder what he's dreaming about. Probably us. It better be me. Ah, Lexi, Ugh. did I make you jump again? Yes. It's what tends to happen when you sneak up on a person in a dark room. Oh, I didn't sneak. Sure, what's up? I haven't been able to sleep all night. I saw you were awake and, well, wanna chat on the terrace? I, great, thanks babe, I'll see you there soon. I didn't even say yes. Before you can say any more, she dashes out of the room. So much for a lion. Careful, Lexi. Lottie's in one of her moods. Uh-oh. No, not an angry mood or a jealous one. She's having one of her psychic moods. Oh. I personally think it's all a load of rubbish. Who can really sense the other side? I, wait a minute. Hmm. I think I'm having a premonition too. Something hot and steamy is about to happen. What, with who? Oh, it's only Phil the intern bringing my tea. Never mind. Speaking of. What, the tea? Huh? Tea, Lexi? Oh yes, Lottie is waiting for you with a cup of black tea. Thanks, girl, you know I love the tea. Don't mention it. It was getting lonely being the only one awake. Then I saw that you've woken up and thought about how you're usually up for a laugh. So I wanted to read your leaves. My leaves? Yeah, your tea leaves. Tarot is normally my go-to, but obviously I wasn't allowed to bring my deck with me. Lottie wants to read my tea leaves. That sounds fun. Or it's a waste of time. Or does it really work? Only if you know how to do it properly. I, of course, am fully trained. Who knows what the tea leaves will reveal? It's always fascinating. It could be about money or your career or anything. Love. So what do you say? All you have to do is drink your tea and leave the rest to me. Do I want Lottie to read my tea leaves? I actually do. I'll give it a try. I knew you'd be up for this. You're not like most other people who can't see the wood for the teas. Oh, okay, okay. She chuckles to herself. Okay, now all you have to do is drink your tea, leave it a little bit at the bottom, and concentrate on a wish while you do it. You take a sip of tea, an intense bitterness splashes over your tongue. Ugh, this tea is awful. Yum, or ugh, or need sugar. No, you have to drink this plain. It helps focus your energies for my divination. Did I say that right? At least that's what I was always told. Now drink up, and don't forget about your wish. What should I wish for? Love, money, or fame? Um, I'm gonna wish for some money, cause look, 
because who wouldn't want to win the cash? I'm already gonna find my love, so the money's fine. We can we can cherish this money together, me and my love. You drink the tea as quickly as you can, leaving a bit of water at the bottom and set the cup down. Lottie takes it in her left hand, vigorously swirls it three times, then holds it upside down, allowing the remaining tea to drink. Okay, let's see what's in store for you. She peers at the damp black marks in the cup. Hmm. She twists the cup around in her hand several times. Ah. She puts the cup down and peers over it again. Fascinating. Lottie's being really thorough. See anything good? Like, what's up, sis? Shh, don't interrupt. I wanna make sure I get this right. Another moment passes before Lottie finally looks up at you. This is good stuff. Well, some of it's a little odd. But let's start with the clear stuff. See the bottom of the cup? That represents your future. It looks like a triangle surrounded by little dots. Correct. That's actually quite a funny one. A triangle anywhere generally means good fortune. Dots of leaves around a symbol usually transform that symbol's meaning into money. So you've literally got good fortune coming with your fortune in the future. Looks like my wish will come true. Oh, that's what I always wish for. Or can it happen now? Or can't complain so far, right? Yeah, babes, you're off to a brill start. Now, see here on the side of the cup? She points to a line of tea leaves in the cup. Two splotches sit either side of it. The side of the cup represents your immediate future, the next few days or weeks. You have a broken line of tea leaves here. Lines usually indicate a journey or a passage of time. A broken line means a rocky road ahead of you, so expect your near future to not be the smoothest of journeys. Uh-oh. At one end, you have what looks like two birds. She points to a splotch of leaves. And at the other end, you have a heart. She points at another splotch. Birds mean some kind of message, either good or bad, and a heart represents a lover. So although your immediate future won't be easy, something good is on its way when it comes to love. Maybe the return of an old lover or the rekindling of an old flame. Does that make sense? I'm gonna rekindle an old flame. You mean Bobby? I bet it's Bobby. Maybe, you never know, right? But what's this mean? You point to two more splotches of tea leaves at the rim of the cup. Ah, well, the rim represents the present. You have a heart here, but it's hard to make out. That usually means a flaky lover. Oh, and here's what looks like an owl. It's often an ill omen. What are you saying? I'm about to die or something? It looks like Noah's gonna be snaky, babe. Uh, I guess that he's gonna stick with his weather reporter. Wow. Lottie thinks Noah's gonna stick with whichever girl he's back with at the villa. He would do that, or I knew he would, or how positive are you? Well, it's a surprise that Noah seems like a loyal guy, but I wouldn't tell you unless I was sure, and the leaves don't lie. You sit there for a moment. The birds tweet above your head. An insect buzzes past your ear. I can't really be mad because, because here I am with Carl, so. What should I do? I don't know, babe. I can only tell you what the tea leaves say. What you choose to do with it is down to you. What should I do about Noah sticking with his weather reporter? Um, I don't believe it. I'm sticking with Noah, or I'm gonna stick with Carl, or I don't know what to do. Honestly, I'm gonna stick with Carl. If you say Noah's gonna switch, then I need to too. That could be for the best, babe. You don't wanna end up in a bad position for that guy. Lottie breathes and wiggles her shoulders. I love a good fortune reading. Told you it'd be interesting. You hear the sound of laughter drift from the dressing room. I guess the others are up and getting ready. We should do the same. The two of you make your way to the dressing room. Okay, that was some fun Lottie time. She told me my future, that's lit. Hot air from the dryers and straighteners hit you as soon as you enter the dressing room. Cutting through is the sweet scent of strawberry and mango. Ooh, it's an intense one today. The smell, that is. Morning, girls. Priya stands up, tweaking her eyelashes. Everyone else since slumped and murmurs a good morning to you. How are you always so perky, Priya? It's easy. I learned from a young age that the best way to overcome a late night was just to ignore it. Ignore a late night? Yeah, you have more control over your body than you realize. I want to be awake and in charge right now, so I just am. That doesn't really work for everyone, babe. No? Why don't you give it a try? Trust me, I have done. Every single time I end up this tired. The only thing that makes me remotely awake is my third or fourth coffee in the morning. No, babes, I bet we can do this. Right, here goes. I'm no longer tired. I'm a believer in mind and body too, so I'll give it a go. I'm in charge. And awake? That's implied. Hope yawns and waves her hand about. 
what they said. Me, Marisol Shrugs. Sorry, babe, I'd like to play along, but I just don't see it doing anything. Okay, with that mindset, it won't. Spoil sport. How about you, Lexi? Should I join in? I am no longer tired. There you go. A moment goes by without anyone saying anything. Right, girls, how are we feeling? So much better. There you go, told you it works. I feel no different, babe. I don't know, maybe I feel a little less tired. I feel better for it. I'll call that a success, Sid. It was fun to watch, at least. <laughs> Once one of my clients wanted a positivity room, a place he could go to to channel his inner happy vibes. What did that involve? He wanted it to be filled with bright colors and bean bags, but I thought that would overstimulate him and add to his stress. So I made the room completely white and just wrote in big letters, positivity. It had well plush carpeting. I could use a room like that, or that sounds like the worst, or who can afford to have a room just for that? Right, I don't got the money like you do. My clients, babe, and is it really that different to a study or something? Yeah, like quite a bit. And he loved it, I think. Right, girls, let's move away from positive vibes and interior design. Instead, let's focus on what we're wearing. Priya looks at Marisol. What, babe? Nothing. I'm just usually the one who says that. Oh, it's nice to see you doing it for a change. I just feel like looking my best for Graham. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna look my best too, but I ain't got no coins to be buying things, so I'm gonna have to go with what I own already. Um. Oh, this is cute. I never wear this that often, so I own it. Let's do it. I guess this will do for today. Ah! Every time I see you wearing that, I'm like planning on how to steal it from you. Every time you see me wearing it, I've only wore it a couple times, y'all some haters. It looks stunning on you. Thanks, Marisol. So girls, how are we all feeling about our Casa Boys? Oop, I mean, we know how Marisol feels. Yeah, have you and Graham got up to anything? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, yeah, that's why I asked. <laughs> So, has this ship docked in your port? Oh! Has the crab entered the pot? Oh my gosh! Has this sail swelled under your wind? I don't think those could have been any less sexy, but then you came out with the last one. Oh! Please stop, Priya. If you must know, we may have fooled around a little last night. Oh! That's what I like to hear. So how was it? Let's just say there's a lot to work with. Oh! Woohoo! What was that? It was meant to be a wolf whistle, but I can't actually whistle. So I just say, hoo hoo. You're adorable, babe. Me and Elijah are doing great. I mean, it's Elijah. How could I not be happy with that handsome boy? No, not boy, man. She shudders. How about you, Lexi? Have you got up to anything with Carl? I mean, like we kids, but like nothing crazy, you know? Maybe a little something, you know? Really, babe? I thought you'd stay loyal. Leave it out, Lottie. Lexi's just having some fun. It's probably obvious where my head's at. Arjun's fun, but he's a bit over the top for me. Too full on, you know? Yeah, same. All I'm hearing is that they're not Noah. Hope blushes. That may also be a factor, yeah. She really loves him, but who knows where his head is at? Anyway, what about you, Lottie? Kasam is 100% my type. There's no doubt about that. I'm not sure where we're at or what we're gonna do. I'm having tons of fun with Felix. Felix always seems like he's about to explode with excitement and maybe something else. And it's fun running circles around him. We may have got up to some stuff in the night. Oh, I'm surprised he's your type. Who says he is? But if I'm gonna be handed the most immature one here, I'm at least gonna have some fun. The girls laugh as they add the finishing touches to their makeup. I wonder what the day has in store. I got a text. Did you just summon that or something? Shh, read it, Hope. There's no message, just a video. Play it then. What's the video? Gary and Henrik alone in the kitchen talking quietly together. I'll tell you what, mate. I'd take any of these girls home to my nan. Oh! Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. They're all amazing. Who? Noah's eyes go wide as he looks at somebody off screen. What is going on? Whoa, she looks just like Hope. <gasps> Ibrahim is lying with a girl on one of the loungers. Who is she? You look incredible. <gasps> Only incredible? Come on, Raheem. I know you've got a better line than that. What do you think I should say? Something like, you're so irresistible in that outfit. You think that's true, do you? I don't know. Why don't you show me? They lean in towards each other just as it cuts to the next clip. 
What? Noah is kissing a girl on the lawn and she pretty. <gasps> That's it, son. Come on. Oh my gosh. That's 10 seconds. They seem to be enjoying this. You're one to talk, mate. Back in the kitchen, Noah and Gary are talking. I'll tell you what, doing bits on the first night, <gasps> he shakes his head. It changes everything. Oh, no doubt. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to go back to that house. What? I'm glad I have Carl. Forget Noah, all of them. Bobby didn't say nothing though. For a while, no one says anything. Then, what the hell, Gary? Which one of those girls are you taking to see your nan? Don't worry about that, Chelsea. Gary was hardly in it. Oh, who was that weather reporter with Ibrahim? Was it just me or did Noah have a breakup beard? Oh, I noticed that too. Play it again. Huh? I need to see it again. I don't think we need to do that, babe. We don't need to, but I want to. What do you think, Lexi? Do we want to watch the video again? Um, no, I've seen enough. Forget that. I don't want to see that again. Thank you. Once was enough. I feel icky. I just can't believe this. I can't believe it. How could Gary do this to me? I really didn't see Gary doing anything. His nan, babe, his nan. He may as well have gone and proposed to one of them. Why do you even care, Chelsea? You were with him for all of five minutes. It's the principle of the thing, babe. We're a couple. He should respect that. Well, this is Love Island, sis. I don't get why you're expecting anything different. Like, we came here to have fun and our cast out more boys all want to make it into the villa. The other girls want the same thing, so, duh. Priya's right. We should have been expecting this, girls. No, they totally played us. What about you and Elijah, babe? What about Elijah? That's totally different. He's just a bit of fun. I'm not taking him to meet my nan or anything. Ugh. She storms out of the dressing room. You hear curses and door slamming. Oh, Chelsea's actually really mad. And the Oscar for best actress goes to? Ignore her and ignore this video too. I don't care what it showed. Raheem will stay loyal. I know it. We're not a romantic couple, but he is a mate. He wouldn't mess with me like that. They're our boys. They know better. How are you feeling, Lexi? After all, you did just see Noah kissing that other girl. I mean, do I really even care about Noah anymore? Honestly, no, because I heard that he still likes Hope. So, yeah, and you did the same with Carl during yesterday's challenge. You even volunteered. Oh, okay. Shh. Now that we've all had some time to think, how are we feeling? The same as before. Of course the guys are gonna get up to stuff. Okay, what about you, Lexi? Hope, hun. You've been really quiet this whole time. You all look over at Hope, who's still holding the phone in her hand. She's paused it on Noah's face. He's smiling. I don't know, girls. I keep thinking about what he said. Doing bits on the first night changes everything. He actually said that, right? He did say that, yeah. I can't believe Noah, of all people, would do that. It seems so unlike him. Babe, we don't know what he could be referring to in that video. It seems pretty obvious to me. You're not helping, Lottie. No, but she's right, hon. What else could doing bits be referring to? Silence returns to the room. From outside, you hear another thump and a scream from Chelsea. It just hurts, you know? I thought our connection was more emotional than just physical. That our feelings went beyond that. Hope seems really upset over Noah. Reassure her or tell her to get over it or let someone else come for her. I will reassure her like a good friend. Hey, Hope, I honestly wouldn't worry about it too much. It's Noah, you know? I'm sure there's more to the story. Thanks, Lexi, but I don't feel reassured by that coming from you. Next time, I'm gonna let somebody else deal with you. You know what? I forgot, we not like this anymore. So that's Noah's game? He gets grafted on by another girl and what? Totally loses control? Do you see what you've done, Lexi? Oh, do you get why I can't just forgive you? Hope's blaming me for Noah's betrayal. Okay, wait, but Noah, cast out more. I'm not in Love Island right now, so you better get your mans, not me. What Noah's done isn't my fault. Really? So you turning his head away from me has nothing to do with this? I mean, it might, but like with the girl he's with right now, no. Whatever, hon. Another silence fills the room. Somewhere in Cast Out More, you can still hear Chelsea crashing about. <laughs> Wait, you know who I didn't see? Bobby. Yeah, and come to think of it, I didn't hear him either. What do you think he's getting up to? I bet he sat by the door waiting for us to return. He's probably baked us a welcome back cake. <laughs> That'd be amazing right about now. 
What is Bobby getting back up to at the villa? Um, I don't know. Maybe he's making a... Maybe he's making a pillow fort. I really don't know. That sounds so cozy. Knowing Bobby, he'll be arming the boys with spatulas and Ben helmets. Actually, you know what? I bet he's been doing some serious crafting. I'm not forgetting about you guys, Lexi. I just don't see him putting all his eggs in one basket. What? No way. Yeah, I don't see Bobby doing that at all, babe. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I bet the boys have been giving him terrible advice. <laughs> yeah, Gary's gonna be all like, just be like, hey, and call her a bird and tell her all about your nan. Ibrahim's gonna be like, stare at her until she gives in and kisses you. That sounds familiar. I bet Jacob's gonna tell him that the way to a girl's heart is through an immaculately ironed shirt. Hang on, there's one last mystery. Who was that girl kissing Noah? She seemed like the ultimate weather reporter. What's that even mean? You know, Lottie gestures with her arms. She's obviously one of them. Uh, huh. What did you think about her, Lexi? She was pretty. She was super pretty. Not as pretty as you, babe. Yeah, you're a 10 out of 10. Aw, oh, thanks, y'all. She was a five, maybe a six. Lottie looks over at you. She shakes her head slowly. At that moment, Chelsea bursts back into the room. I'm back. We can see and hear that. Sorry, babes, I'm not usually like that. Gary's behavior just really got to me. Girls, I think we know what must be done now. You mean? Yeah, it's time to call a girl council. I have a plan. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Well, that's put a damper on the holiday atmosphere, right? Come on, girls, cheer up. Girls on tour, girls on tour, girls on tour, right? I guess they're not in the mood for chanting anymore. Next time, Lottie reveals her grand plan. Uh-oh. Let's fight fire with fire. What's she hiding up those sheer black sleeves of hers? No, but why did this episode just make me mad? Honestly, I don't really like Noah anymore. We been knew that. I like Carl, but I'm mad that Noah was out here kissing that weather reporter. Like she was pretty, but Lexi's pretty too. I'm mad, but whatever. If you enjoyed this video and want more Love Island, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea. And don't forget to go to shop.imallyfits.com so you can get you some cute merch. Be matching like me, cause I do be cute and you can be cute too. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.